Okay. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> if we go to the fourth of that route, we're going to play pentatonic only. We're going to end up with a pattern shaped like this. So here we have our, we still have our same S3XL, 5, 6, 7, root 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is it just shown um, considering the fourth, the root there, but we've got the same pattern and same thing, we've got the same S4L here, but now it's an A-shaped S4L. So up here we had a, a, an E-shaped S4L right up here. Okay, so that, that's an E-shaped S4L. Just like that. Okay, now it just stands to reason that if we're going to the fourth, we're going to go from an E-shaped S4L. <clears throat> I don't even have to hit the accidentals. It's the same thing to an A-shaped to an A-shaped S4L there. So there we have it. A-shaped S4L is going to be starting from roots. Going to go. So it's just like we did it before with the short patterns and the fourth. Okay, and then lo and behold, with the fifth, you get the same thing. It just we're just gonna go from the the A shape to the D shape to an E shaped S4L. Okay, and that, so that E shape, actually it's a C shaped S4L. We're going to go from an E shaped S4L, A shape up to that, that augmented C shape. So it's going to be, so here's your E shaped S4L, E shaped, A shaped, and C shaped. difference but how is how are we going to remember that <clears throat> so that's the that's the top part <coughs> where we have this is just a C shape ignore the numbers now it's hard to ignore this I'm going to show you about how to do this this is a trick you can use so once again I, I assigned an A shape <coughs> to the um, to this X3 XL. And one of the reasons why I assigned an A shape is because if we look over at the A box with the S3 XL, so here's our S3 XL uh, A shape here. It's not. It's the A cage, long, um, long pattern. Notice we've got a full S3 XL to start the pattern. This, this is the G pentaton tripentatonic banner here. <clears throat> That's not part of the fretboard. It's just it's a banner to signify the short pattern that down here with the long A pattern, A long bottom, going to G short on the top. So look at that. We play that A long bottom. This is pentatonic now. Five six root two three five six. Here's our basic pattern right there, starting on the A shape. Five six because this this whole thing up here is the root long patterns, so they're in yellow. So five six root two three five six. There's our basic S three XL uh, pentatonic, <clears throat> and it goes into a G short top. So this is obviously part of the G short top. Here, here's your here's your G box here. I want to keep this easy because I know it's easy if you if we just take our time and look at it. This is the G short box up here. You see, six root two three five six root two three five six root. That would be the normal G box as you would play it. Keep in mind, I'm doing pentatonics intentionally here. Okay, because we want to learn one of the reasons, you know, of course you can play the pentatonic on the root, 
the other reason is once you learn the root pentatonic, you can apply that to get the fourth and the fifth very easily. I'll show you a trick to do that. You know, I figured this out and I had to and it was by necessity. Necessity is the mother of invention. Okay. And I was like, I can't figure this out. I can't do this. Okay, so th this is the this is this is why I called this the A X3 XLA because it fits it the A pattern, the A pattern. Okay, where there's the five and that E becomes the fifth of the key of A or or the A mode. It's still the fifth. Doesn't matter if you do an A major or an A minor, counting up to that. When we're, when we're counting, we're going to usually just use the white key, so that that'll be uh, an a, a, a modal. You know, if it's a minor, it's a minor. It doesn't matter. It still counts the same. <coughs> the reason why it's advantageous to look at the pentatonic of the root here. Remember, this is the root. So let's say in the A, the A shape C, this is the root. Here's the A shape. And the pentatonic is going to go. That's the bottom part. And then the top part is going to play into a G short top. The top part is going to be a G short uh, pentatonic. We're not starting a G from that point. We're finishing a G from that point. So it'll just play right up. Okay, so that makes it easy because it's the next shape over from the A shape that we were starting. <laughs> I can't play the G one right now because I don't want to hurt my hand. Um, so I'll outline it. So here's your A. Here's the G. So the G short is going to be on the top. All right. So that that's one way to look at it. One way to look at it. The, just the next shape up but hey why don't we just play the short pattern why don't we just play the, the next shape up all the time because we won't be playing the long pattern on the bottom and the whole idea is to is make long patterns that we can play you know from the fret nut or from a capo because if we tried to do the the a short pattern here you know once again just just to review but I'm doing it because you, you know we need to know this to play the A short pattern try pentatonic the try pentatonic A so that's why we'll have this you can hardly see it there's a four there that's from the D shape it you know we're got, we would have to play these would be in sunken land there we couldn't play them because the fret nut is right here you see how you see how the fret nuts right there this is a fret nut drawn so this is the open strings these can't be played at all so that's why we use the long pattern all right <coughs> so that's what gives the the, the uh, root s3xl it's a it's a shape because it starts from the a long pattern so over here it just made sense to me to give the to to give the um, the fourth the fourth of A would be D okay to give this the D shape it's simply the fourth of A and then the fifth so it goes A D E the fifth we give that the E shape so the E shape is going to the fifth has its own shape kind of looks like a backwards L and the uh, the fourth has this shape that looks like a backwards seven so that's one way to do it but I've got an even better way for you coming up <laughs> 